Now, Irish investors are increasingly getting jitters about Britain crashing out of the EU without a deal. You can't really blame them either. As a no deal, Brexit would result in the country pulling out of the bloc with no safeguards in place. Uh, that might result in volatility and uh, the pound plunging in value. So how are they hedging against the possible uncertainty and currency depreciation? Take a look. Under lock and key and past a fingerprint scanner. This Dublin vault is hoarding a Brexit bonanza. These deposit boxes are brimming with 24 karat bullion. The pot of gold is being bought by anxious investors from Northern Ireland. They're worried about a significant devaluation in sterling if there's a hard Brexit. So by buying gold bullion with sterling and storing it with us, if sterling does devalue, that gold bullion will be worth a lot more. With no facilities in Northern Ireland, Merrion Vaults is reporting a 70% increase in customers travelling to Dublin from the British side of the border as Brexit uncertainty increases. In 2018, sterling slumped with every bad headline and the FTSE tumbled 12%, but gold held steady. The demand means the firm is set to open a new location in Belfast. With Britain due to crash out of the EU on March the 29th, gold is seen as a safe haven. In, in times of crisis, you always see what's called this flight to safety. So people go into US government bonds, gold bullion, Swiss francs, etc. Despite this, the UK-wide gold rush may have already peaked. If you look at Brexit, the most noticeable impact that Brexit had on UK gold demand was around the vote itself. In the months running up to it and in the months following it, we did see an upsurge in activity. I'd say over the course of the past two years, that's probably petered out a little bit. Um, I think lots of investors have probably suffered a bit of Brexit fatigue. But for now, Northern Irish investors are hoping this won't be fool's gold.